In this video, we're going to look at creating a frequency histogram when you're already given the classes and the frequency. So, I can, you probably can just look at this data and tell you what frequency histogram when it's given, but if you were supposed to create a histogram and then be able to give a picture or something of it, this is how you would do it on the TI-8384. We need to get this information in the calculator. When the classes are given, this is going to be our L1 where we have to put that into our L1 area. So what we do is we go up into the stat and we click edit. This will edit our lists. L1 is the first list and this will be our lower class limits. So the lower, so 0, 2,000, 4,000, all the way to 26,000. They're already typed in because it takes time to do it. Then L2 will be our frequencies. So how many are from 0 to 2,000? 18. 2,000 to 4,000, 132. That's our frequencies. Then we go into the stat plot. Once we have that information in there, we go second, stat plot. We go into plot one, hit enter, turn it on by hitting enter again. Now we'll go down and cl click the histogram. So that's what we want to graph, hit enter. Then we're going to go down to our X list. Our X list is our horizontal axis. That's where the um, classes are going to be because it's going to be the bottom from 0 to 1,999, 2,000 to 3,999. So that's going to come from L1, the list of that. L2 is going to be our frequencies that correspond to those classes. So our frequency isn't 1, our frequency is going to be L2. So I click second and then the stat key because that's where the list are and go down to L2. So now that takes L1 and L2. Okay, now we have to go into the window though for our graph and format it a little bit because we want our bars to be from 0 to 2000, right? Just this. So I go into the window here. And you can see it's kind of all made its own mind up. So our, our 0 is going to be our lower class limit and our x max is going to be the maximum of the lower class limits, 26,000. So let's go down to that, write 26,000. And our scale is going to be the class width, 0 to 2,000, so 2,000. Our y minimum, normally we just make it a little bit under uh, so you can have it up, so maybe negative 5. Our y maximum, this is our y axis going up and down, will be the a little bit above the largest value here. 307, so maybe 310. And then we can leave this, or we can change the y scale since it's going up to 310. That's the y axis going up. Maybe you go up by tens. All right, then once we have all that down, we hit graph. And there's our graph. We can easily see which, which graph this will be then, which is this one right over here. And we can actually see the numbers on here too. If we click this and we do trace, now we can trace. It says 0 is the lower limit up to 2,000. If I click over, and you can see there's 18 of them, and that's what we had here. Click over, 132 to 4,000, right? And etc. I'll go all the way through, and you can see the entire, all the information that we see in this, in this plot here. So this is how you do a histogram when you're given the classes already. They need to go into L1, the lower class limits do. Then the frequencies go into L2. Then you've got to set the window. So it's a little bit of work, but you can do it.